Start of the first term here at Richmond Crescent. <laughs> oh, God. I tell you, you take it, Dale. Yes, ball up in the middle of the ground. Dan Hybens taps it out the back, coming off the wing, picked up Stevens, can't click it clean. And it's gone back to Bolton. Handball missed the target. Kick off the ground there by Grozanovsky. Goes as far as Logue. Works into the forward line. Goes wide. Gerard's the target. Can't take the mark. Goes back and clicks it. Runs on the left. Kicks round the corner. First goal is That's up. That's how you so Ryan Rusty Gerard, he gets his first for the afternoon. Imbali are away, 13 or 15 seconds into the first quarter and goal number one. On the what scoreboard? Um, but we're going to take it first quarter. Thank forward. you very much. Thank you very much. I'm waiting for me cue to come in. Sorry. <laughs> well, what can you say about that? That's the footy that we all come to see. Did he kick the first last week as well yeah, against so. the Panthers? And that was very, very early too. But yeah. we didn't. What we didn't speak about before the game is the wind, and I think they've got the wind. Obviously, yeah, I was a bit surprised that Andrew Chellis won the toss and went the other way. Mm. Yeah. Well, anyway. I tell you what, if at quarter time they're six goals down, he'll <laughs> rue that. He'll rue that, won't he? And the rain comes. Yeah. He'll really <laughs> rue that. So back to the middle, fast start from the Hawks. They get the first of the afternoon. Hello. And the umpire. That was a net ball whistle. That was whistle. a net ball whistle. It's OK. Hybens, Bolton. Hybens gets it down. Hutchison through the middle, picks it up, does well. Handballs it back to Hamer. He left it behind, though. No. Holly in through the middle. He wraps up. He is wrapped up. And he wraps the footy up as well. And the umpire will come in. And ball it up. Just on the southern side of the centre circle. Here at Richmond Crescent. Bolton goes up. Hybens gets it down. T Dylan O'Toole through the middle. Hamer's handball was okay. Got it to Hutchinson. Goes towards half forward. Logue up. Can't take the mark. Means there. Overruns it. East along at the back. Chamberlain handball over the top to nobody in particular. Coming through. They've got the numbers again. The Hawks. They get it to Muir. Off a standing start. Kicks towards Gerard. It goes up. But standing in the way. Lockie Sponner. Best player two weeks ago against the Panthers. Gets it out wide to Kane Marsh. Didn't have an influence against the Panthers. He will want to, will want to today. On centre wing, gets the kick. Holly and takes the mark. Slips over as he gets the mark. A bit harsh. He sat on the bench all day. And then, that's what I mean. Well, he was injured, I think. <laughs> so, Marsh goes with a right foot kick. But got the handball back. Inboard. Hawks, though, at the back of the pack. Got some support. Handball. All dangerous to Ling. Hyman's in support as well. Deep in defence. East Geelong hassle him out of it. Handball. Rees over the top. Quick reply. Maybe no. Hutchison just runs in. Kicks it off the ground. Only as far as Bolton. Takes it at half forward. Gives it away to Chalice. He can go across half forward. Dangerous kick. Over the back. Hamer for Inverley. Can't take it with him. No hassle out of it. Left the footy behind. Muir didn't at half back. Goes towards uh, centre wing. Brackley takes the mark for the Hawks. Once to get around. Primke oh, does sorry. so. Goes towards half forward with the kick looking for Grobstanovsky. Good lead. Good mark. Takes it. At left half forward now. Called to play on. Goes deep towards full forward. Chamberlain goes up. Tries to punch it from behind. Got some support as well. Priddle. He goes to the left foot. Kicks okay to Sponner and Sponner takes the mark at half back. On half back line. Sponner takes him on and plays now as the centre wing goes long into the half forward line. Uh, Cherney leading in the race. Also Reese coming across. Both players didn't look at the ball. Looked at each other. They but did. Reese went back and collected it. Picked it up. Tackled by Cherney. He's held up. Umpire prancing around. Gives a points. No. Oh, no points. Just but, got uh, just got low for the. Uh, <laughs> Thought he was going to have decided no. <laughs> so I'm glad he didn't too. Our boy came in quickly. <laughs> Would need to. He was in the, he was in the punt stance, he wasn't he? He was in the, the punt's position. <laughs> the ball thrown up for this time. Bruxman take it down. Hybens gets the ruck down. Picked up and trying to be walked through the contest. Invalier trying to get the numbers through. It's uh, going to be held up again. Umpire's just letting it go. Hutchison emerges. And the umpire balls it up. So they've got the ball on the half forward line East Geelong. Tapped up there, tapped tap down, picked up by Muir out of the ruck contest. Kicks back towards the boundary line. Chalice and Cations lead the race for the ball. Cations picks the ball up, handball inside. Running player coming past is Muir. Kicks into the half forward line, going back as Logue, and he takes oh, the mark. That's so a Robbie beautiful Lowe kick. Has the ball, has a player in short. He goes longer. Dalton Grundle leads out from full forward. Right with him is Watson. They hit the ball towards the boundary line and both players will see it go over in the half forward line, between the half forward line and forward pocket at Inverleys attacking into the ground. I'll tell you, Hyben's their most important player. Muir was not far behind. Yeah, exactly. He? He's exactly. going right, isn't he? Yeah, and, and I <laughs> thought he's been a little bit down over the times we've seen him, but the last couple of weeks he's been good. So ruck contest in the forward line. Tap down, Brackley over the top of the ball for Inverley. 
Picked up there by Meehan, who's back in the side after having a week's break, went on a holiday. Cations, the receiver, of the handball, kicks towards goal. And uh, Billy Cations, he gets goal. his first goal of the afternoon. The second now for the Inverleigh side. So we've gone four and a half minutes, second goal. So he's Inverleigh on 12 points, but East Geelong get to score. Buckley's Entertainment, first quarter scoreboard. Mr. Cations. Yeah, they were a little bit lax, that the, their on-ballers, and they didn't come down and pick up Billy Cations, who's got a lot of speed. And I'll tell you what, it was the worst kick for goal I've seen in many a long day, but it wobbled through for a goal. A couple of goals early. I'll tell you what, <laughs> Andrew Chalice, mate, you might rue the day you kicked against the wind. Pretty good on a ball division for Inverleigh. Hutchinson, Muir, Cations and Hyvins. Well, actually, this is where I like Billy mm. Cations playing. I reckon he's the hunter of the ball. I reckon he needs to be around it. Well, he's <laughs> in the middle. He waits for Hyvins and Bolton. Hyvins gets it down straight to Ricky O'Toole. Gets the kick towards half forward. But, uh, the Hawks can come across towards Hamer at centre wing with the football. Ball in dispute. Good play. Stevens got it over the top looking for Dylan O'Toole. Chalice in support as well. Back to Stevens. Standing start close to the uh, wing. Close to the boundary line. Ooh. Trotter. It's got to be a free against yeah. him, I think. Yeah, he gave the uh, free kick away for just the the don't argue to Archini as he yeah. took the mark. And it was a bit high. It was. So Archini from half back to centre wing. Grobstanovsky goes up, punched away by McLean over the boundary line. We'll have a throw in. Centre wing. Just four to the centre wing for the Eagles. Bolton, Hyben's come across. Bolton gets it down to the side of the pack. Cations handball over the top to Muir. Runs away. Right foot kick to half foot. Great kick. Fantastic Gee. out in front of Logue. Takes it 60 out from goal. Called to play on now. Gets around Sponner. Left foot kick towards Grundle. Goes towards the pocket. Right next to him, Watson. Can the, uh, the big fella keep it in? He can't. He sees it over the line. 30 around from the Inverleigh goal. We'll have a throw in. Their kicking in the centre half forward's been brilliant, but their last kick into the Dalton Grundle, they've just missed him a couple of times. Might have done a big Burke down there. <laughs> Grundle one, running one way and Burke running the other. And, <laughs> and, and Billy <laughs> Nichols waiting in the square for the long one. <laughs> That's it. So, boundary throw in. 30 around from the Hawks goal. Bolton goes up uncontested, gets it down towards Reese. Oh, chopped off by Cations, wrapped up, then threw the football out. Pye said play on. Chalice close to the boundary line. Mean kept it in for Inverley. And then the umpire said high it was a high tackle. I think he kicked the goal, did he? The umpire is looking at the goal umpire to say, did he kick the goal? No. No. So it's got to come back to Casey Mean. Got one high on the tackle. And we'll shoot for goal from the boundary line, 25 metres out. He'll kick it. Oh, he's, he's a bit mercurial like that, isn't he? Well, he's going to have to be because this is a really tough kick. Oh, he's certainly going to kick it now that Groby's put the moz on him. Said he won't. Well, I didn't say he won't. I just said <laughs> he'll very tough take kick. a very tough kick. He's got well, to he's sit, got the breeze. It, sit it up there and let the, hang it up there yeah. and let the breeze bring it back. 25 out, boundary line, left foot kick. Good kick. Oh, it's just missed everything. It's out the full. on the full. <laughs> you know he's a left footer. No, yeah. neither did I. I didn't realise either. Footer. As soon as I saw him come in on the left boot, I knew he couldn't kick it. Chamberlain gets the result in free kick. Kicks it out wide looking for Sponner, who takes it at half back for East Geelong. Goes inboard to Dylan O'Toole. Can't pick it up first attempt. Second attempt he can. Wheels around on the right foot towards her. Trotter at half forward. On the half volley. Handballs it back. Off a step. Primke. Back to half forward. Chalice has to run back with a fly to the footy. Couldn't take the mark. Cations is in there as well. Hawks with the numbers at the back. They go OK. Hamer, who's been influential already. Goes towards Muir. Missed the target. Bolton's there. Muir picks it up. Oh! Got his head ripped off. Joel Selwood-like. And will take the free kick. Gives it away quickly to Hutchinson. Runs free. Goes towards half forward. Hybens. Great kick with the outside of the left foot from Blake Hutchinson. Finds Hybens. Goes to the right foot kick now. Grundle sits it on his head. Tough. Watson at the back. Takes the mark. And will relieve for the Eagles. He gives the handball away quickly to Chamberlain. Always looks like he's got a fortnight. Gives it away to Priddle. He goes from half back towards centre wing. Open half forward flank for Reese to run onto if it sits for him. It's going to be close to the boundary line. Hamer's right next to him. Reese handball over the top's okay. De Braden Sponner, 55 out, left foot kick. Goes towards the goal square, sets it up. They go up, they can't take the mark. Jones had his hands on it off the back of the pack. They get around, handball slung as he got the uh, ball away. It was Graham and it's out of bounds for a throw in. Right forward pocket, Eagles into attack. But they trail in the league, two straight goals, East yet to score. You know what I'd have done if I was Hamer? I would have flattened Reese after he handballed it. Give the down the ground free kick away, because it's only a handball. And then Reese loses the plot, because he, he's been playing good footy without it. So the ball from the contest. 
Marsh is there and free kick found for East Geelong. <laughs> Dale's got some tips coming through. <laughs> He's enough. not going to tell us today. <laughs> so the free kick has been given to Kane Marsh. 25 out slide angle for a high tackle, I think it was. As he got slung off the football. So a chance for the Eagles to put their first score on the board. He comes in, right foot kick. I think he's missed it. And through for one behind. So they are one behind East Geelong. And Inverley two straight, 12. Buckley's Entertainment Centre first quarter scoreboard. Ten minutes played. Geez, that would have been a handy one against what we think is a pretty strong Breeze. But as I said about before about Reese, we watched him early in the year and he wanted to push blokes and everything, and he was, didn't play that good a footy. As soon as he stopped doing that, he's a damn good player. So you, you might want to get him in a little bit. So Ling now comes to the far side of the ground and it goes towards Anderson. Up, doesn't take the Ooh. mark at ground level. Picked up by Marsh. Goes quickly back inside. Good lead up from Jones. And he takes the mark. So Jones with the ball. An opportunity again. Similar position to where K. Marsh was. He would uh, obviously have been standing in the square watching the flight of the ball. And hopefully will allow for it here. So he has an opportunity. Well, the way that wind took it across, he's got to aim easily for the left post. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, left post with a bit of height there. Grub be right on, I reckon. He oh, kept it low, that. but that's uh, beautiful. Straight through the middle of the, the goals and his first goal of the afternoon. Tyler Jones has won. East Geelong have won. One, they seven. They trail in the lead, who are two goals straight. We have ticked over 11 minutes first quarter. Buckley's Entertainment first quarter scoreboard. Well, that one is the handy goal we were talking about, and I just thought they were a little bit lucky. Going up in that marking contest, I thought Ricky O'Toole pretty much took his eyes off the ball and blocked and went the man, and no free kick forthcoming. And, of course, then they put it down a beautiful kick, and that's the goal they needed to stay in it early. And who knows, they kick a couple more, and we might be saying, Andrew, tell us you're a bloody genius. <laughs> so back to the middle. Fire throws the ball up. It's like a netball game in the middle there with the uh, ruck contest. Hybens and Bolton just standing right next to each other. Marsh is wrapped up, not going anywhere in the contest. The umpire will come in and ball it up. Three late changes out. Walsh, Hambrook and Hand. Cogsy thinks that's news. So ball from the middle. <laughs> Reese gets it towards half forward. Obviously got nothing else better to do today, Cogs. Sponner leaves it behind. Hamer did, and Grobzanovsky ripped off the football. In fact, it was Filer who ripped off the football. Uh, Cheney across half back in support. Right foot kick on the outside's okay. Gives it towards Grobzanovsky. Daniel, he picks it up. Gets around in the middle all over the head of Hyben. Sliding in was Daniel Grobzanovsky. The back was Reese. Got the kick away clearing, which is okay to Trotter in traffic. Tried to tap it backwards and did so. Oh, wrapped up. Jennings took them on and dropped it. There's the punts. And a free kick. And 50. 50. Thanks very, very much. East Geelong undisciplined. Ben Bolton not happy. Oh, Benny, you can't give it away like that, oh, mate. Don't you, you, you give another no, 50 I away. He, I think his gone. foot just got tangled. Oh. I don't think he did it on purpose. Oh, Archie, he wants to be... Uh, wants to be careful too. He might give it the other way. <laughs> He's running down there, popping blokes as <laughs> you go. On the way through. On the way through. <laughs> uh, not a bad 50 either, actually. It's a good yeah. 50. Yes. Good, good. To buy carpet off that carpet line. Yeah. Carpet laying up by it. Now we'll see if the backman can be a forward. Garcicini. He's going to be 35 out directly in front. Eastern end of the ground. For the Hawks, 30 comes in. Shocking kick off the boot. Great pass to Grumble. Oh, <laughs> oh he wants to play oh, That's off. Oh, he's off. Oh, the umpire was standing right there. Oh, and he played off. Oh, I reckon he took a step <laughs> over the mark. He took two steps, I reckon. But Dalton <laughs> Grundle's got it. He's 10 out, 45 degree angle. He comes in. He keeps it low. And he hits the post. Wow. So that he missed him and the yeah. shocker hit him on the chest. So Chamberlain comes out wide, finds Reese in the half back line, goes quickly towards centre wing. Spotters he's starting. Braden Spotter that is, and the ball runs over the boundary. He's been taken from the ground to give that 50 he has. So it's going to be it's going to be Hybens versus Reese. Just taps the ball down, picked up by Holly and handballed out the side, went towards Spotter. He's uh, taken Ooh. the ground, picked up there by Grozdanovsky. Tries to work his way out of the contest, can't do so with strength. He's still trying to work out of there. Tackled by Chapman. There's a number of players around the contest. Finally, it comes out. East Geelong, O'Toole to Chapman. Kick along the forward line towards Archini and Trotter. And the mark has been taken and allowed by the umpire. So Archini with the ball. Kicks back towards centre wing where it came from. Kick wasn't good. Picked up by Ricky O'Toole. Goes quickly back in towards Reese. Interception there by Hamer. Hamer's tackle brought to ground. Picked up by Chalice. Chalice to Jennings. Jennings puts the ball down. And it's picked up again by Hutchison. 
Clean pick up into the half forward line. He goes over the top of low. Going back is Chamberlain. He's got the run of the ball. He picks the ball up. Handles outside to Primke. Primke will come towards centre wing. Looking for O'Toole. Got a bit of oh. carry on it. Touch it just inside <laughs> the boundary line there, Rick. Good chase, son. And it's going to be a ball up right on centre wing. The bench. For giving away that 50. So both Ruckman at it. Hybens tries to take it out of the contest. Chalice does so. Missed it. Left it behind. Through the whistle, but there's only the net ball again. They're going well over there. And Hutchison underneath the contest. It comes out with the ball, but so two do it. Hyman's doing the ruck work, as we'll do, as I said, most of the day. Missed uh, the overpass there of Muir coming through. Both Ruckman lying on the ground. Be good. So Hyman's up over the top. Oh, <laughs> oh beautiful, <laughs> Smithy. <laughs> Picked up there by Grosvenovsky. Quick kick into the half-forward line towards Mays. Over the back, Primke. Look at that. Over the top. <laughs> Takes it one, two, and three, says the umpire. Good mark, Simon Primke. So at the true centre-half back position. Looks inside. Has Spiner, but he goes wider towards the club room side of the ground. Out there, Grosvenovsky. Dan's in front. Mark not taken at ground level. Priddle is coming through with the contest. But left the ball behind, but he's able to tack it forward. Now it's with the run. Braden Spiner, he's taken the ground by a he was in his back. Blocky spawn a handball's out. Goes back to Dylan O'Toole. He gets the handball out. A Kaysen's arrives. Grosdanovsky jumps on it. And it's going to be a ball up with the players contesting, but it's not. Now it's Grosdanovsky gets the ball out to Hutchison. Little kick forward. And as far as Chalice, still in the centre square. Long, low, flat kick towards Jones. Missed that target. Over the back. Hayden Graham comes out. Slips over. Handball's out. <coughs> Anderson now with the run of the ball went back through the contest, put himself under pressure, released it up to Jones. Jones kicks back towards the goal square. Going back is Alex Cations. Ball is tapped towards the pocket. Reese tries to take him off the contest. Ball is over the boundary line. 10 minutes ran from the iron post. We've travelled 17 minutes first quarter. What for? No idea. Josh Reese has got it, I think. Someone's had a crack at him. No, 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 no. It's a no, throw-in. I was going to say, it's, it's going throw-in, you blokes. Get it right. So, boundary throw in right forward pocket for the Eagles. From the contest, Graham Filet gives the handball away. Cation's not going in. He's still got free. Got the handball to Brown. Off a step, they go. Uh, uh, Inverley back towards Primke at centre-half forward. Can't take the mark. Clearing kick to the middle of the ground. It's McLean and Grobstanovsky to race onto it. McLean gets there first. Oh, he picks it up. He just gets the kick away. It's okay then. You get a game next week too. Gives it to the coach. He kicks it over the top towards Reese. Oh, oh Spina called, got called out by Reese, I think, and they didn't take and the mark. And then didn't take the mark. So off hand. Came off hands. Thrown in at half forward for the Eagles. Over the back, Chapman gets it down. Spiner can't take it with him. Cation's in there fighting hard for it as well. Tried to get it away. Handball. Oh, that was nearly dropping the ball from the Eagles. That was Dylan O'Toole. Get the next one, son. Chapman goes up. Hybens gets and it And he down. did. Reese gets it away to Ricky O'Toole off a step. Goes towards full forward. Graham comes out. Go the ball, not the man. Reese is there as well. And close to the boundary line. They break away again, the Hawks. They can't clear it back from uh, half forward, though, for East Geelong. Warwick now handballs it backwards to McLean under pressure. Gets around one. Right foot tumbling punt might be OK in the end. Chapman just stands there, takes the mark uncontested. 45 out directly in front. So kicked a couple against Bell Post Hill a couple of weeks ago when we saw him. Chapman playing in the ruck at the moment with Bolton off the ground. That wind's that blowy. I'm not sure it is favouring that end, you know. Seems to be swirling in here. <laughs> it's well, cold it's in not favouring Vin Chapman, I can tell you that, because nah. he has put that in the car park at Coles at Belmont. Across the north. And they go long towards me, and Primpy's his name written on it. O'Toole's there as well. Grobstanovsky at the back. Needs to get the handball out. Over the top, he gets the ball out the back to O'Toole. Mays is in there as well. Ruzler coming through. Hamer. They get the oh, dangerous Lucky. kick, but it's OK to Hybens. Grobstanovsky got it to him. So Jimmy off a step, goes towards a vacant half-forward position. Logue to run onto it. If it sits for him, he's got it. Oh, he gets around one, and he keeps going. Good handball inboard to Roosler, who followed it up. Handball it further afield to Billy Cations. Had to sit and wait for it. Chalice bears down. He gets the handball back. Off a standing start, Logue's terrible handball to Cations. Gets around one, draws the play, gives it to Logue. Still kept it in. Right over the top was okay. The three of them worked it beautifully. They did in the Roos finish. Roosler ended up with it. At 50, goes long towards the corridor. Grundle goes up. Oh, can't quite take the mark. At the back, Watson gives it away to Primke. He goes with a right foot kick towards Ricky O'Toole. Cations against him. Rick puts a hand up. Can't take the mark. Oh, he does well, though. In the middle, needs some support now. Oh, oh I smell a punts. I smell a punts. I've got a punts. <laughs> Cations gives the handball away to Hamer. 
He goes now from inside the centre square towards Grundle again. Third in line, tried to tap it towards Logue. Primpy off a step. Goes over the head of McLean. Mule's back there with Cations as well. Mule up. Comes back in board with a kick towards half forward. Good kick for uh, distance. Goes towards Grozdanovsky. Mayans there as well. Handball back to Filet. He goes further afield to Hybens. Got a hand to it. Sits okay for the Ruckman. Handball's missed the target to Mays. Close to the boundary line. Needs some support. Oh, got it's got to be a free kick, umpire. Yeah, and a free kick to Mays. Right half forward <laughs> for the Hawks. They want to keep moving it along. They give the handball away. Oh, the umpire's stopped him. And Mays will come back with it. So Mays right forward, right half forward, goes towards Grundle, got a couple against him. Watson at the back takes the double hander, takes the, the two grabber and in the back pocket will relieve the pressure for the Eagles. So now with Watson, now he's going to uh, just go back around the club room side of the ground, oh. kicks into Dalton Grundle on the man, the mark, picked it up, tackled, brought to ground, released it. Uh, could have been a bit low on the tackle, but the handball comes out, went towards Grozanovsky to Grundle, Grundle back to the square, Mark's taken there by White, called the play on, says the umpire, goes to the boundary line again. Ricky O'Toole just happy enough to... It <laughs> won't happen all day because no. Ricky's too smart to stay on a young, quick bloke like that. <laughs> That's right. Long. So the ball tossed into the half-forward line, comes out towards Hutchison on the left-hand side. His handball wasn't effective this time, picked up by Stevens at hands and knees, got up, Ruzler emerges with the ball, fed the ball out. Stevens going to go and collect it, tackled by Brown, he's brought to ground, Ruzler's also there. No chance there. And he's sliding forward again. I think him and Kane Reece. Marsha charge. No, him and Reese. Reese is Reece came on, yep. Okay, so Hyben's out of the ruck. Kicked into the half-forward line. Brackley comes out. Running player is Cations. Hot needs to uh, hammer there is Chalice. Picked up by Logue. Fed the ball out to Brackley on his left side. Kicks towards the goals, but it's not going to stay in. Or it is. And uh, Ryan Gerrard will tone, take the mark. Forward line. In Valley, another opportunity. Ball thrown in by the umpire. Down the front, Bolton back on the ground, tapped it down, picked up by Mays, kicks round the corner, smothered as he does so, and again the ball runs over the boundary line. A little bit closer to the behind post this time. Ford telling Filot to pick up Dylan O'Toole. Ball in the forward line, picked up, goes towards uh, Robbie Chamberlain, who kicks out, and we'll find Jack Filot. So Filot's a good kick of the football, probably right on his range here if he wanted to have a decent go. If he wanted to have a go, he could put it this through. He'll probably kick it back into a breeze. Yeah, yeah. He's got to kick it back into a breeze. So yeah. he's gone. He's gone to the far side of the ground. Not too sure he's going for. Well, but it's do worked. Now. He's found <laughs> Robbie Lowe, and he's got him on the right side of the ground, and he can also kick from there. And we'll have no distance, no trouble with the distance. Left foot up, right side of the ground for him. An opportunity to kick him the least third at the 24-minute mark, which I think probably we don't know which way the wind's blowing here now. I think it's blowing across the ground. But Robbie Lowe, an important kick at goal, comes in. Looks nice off the boot, and umpire stands there and looks back over his head. It's the third goal for the Inverley side there. Back in the middle. Bolton, Hybens, neither get an effective tap. Bolton tries to tap it towards Reese. In the middle. Ruzler wrapped up. The umpire will come in, and the ball opens. Bolton. Hybens comes in with the left hand. Gets it down. Trotter through the middle. Handballed it okay to Sponner. Goes now on the outside to Chalice. Go, well, he was going to go on the left, feigned, goes on the right now, just measures it over the top. It's a good kick to to Lockie Spawner, who takes the mark, 40 out from goal, plays on, goes on the left boot, gives it everything, brings it back beautifully. And a quick reply for the Eagles. Lock so ball back in the middle of the ground. Hybens taps it out towards centre wing. Dylan Brown comes off the wing, collects it. Handball's over the top. Went to Grozdanovsky. Went through the middle of the slop. He able to get around Jennings coming at him. Kicks into the forward line, but that man standing back there just running the lines. Simon Primke takes a mark and charges away. Comes back to the far side of the ground or the uh, broadside side and That's finds Stevens. Uh, and Stevens takes the mark just a little bit backward of centre wing. He's going to go around the boundary line now, looking for a player to lead up. That kick wasn't directed that well. And Alex Cation, I think that must have been the man he was looking at because he kicked it perfectly to Alex. So Alex Cation from Inverley now goes back into the half-forward line. Brackley's a target up in front. Mark's taken there by Stevens, though. So a chance to redeem here. Has players inside if he wants to go there. Decides to go down the line. Better kick That's this time. Better kick, Mark son. taken by Stevens. Goes over, oh, sorry, by Sharp. Goes over the top to Marsh. Marsh towards centre-half forward. Drew Hollyan up there. And I think he's taken that mark over the top That's of That's a mark, all right. There. So has a chance, probably just outside range here with that uh, bit of a breeze, but he's got a player leading forward, and it's Reese. He's moved there, and he's going to take the mark, and he's going to be given 50. No, he's not. Gus Alcini just in time. Tell you what, he could have given 50. It was touch and go. But again, I like the way Reese didn't even bother reacting. He knows his job is to go back and kick the goal. And four weeks ago, he would have pushed and shoved and had to go, oh, I like the transformation this boy. So he's now having a shot for goal. It's a Look nice at that. Kick off Beautiful. The Straight through the middle. Josh Reese has his first goal of the afternoon. Robinson Bolton. 
Pye throws the ball in the air. Bolton gets it down through the hands of Reese. Through the middle, Grosdanovsky got it away. Mays, Marsh coming the other way. Right foot kick towards half forward. Over the back, oh, trotter to run onto it. He gets there with Filet. Played got for a free, free kick beautifully. He does that well. <laughs> Played for a free kick over the shoulder and got it. Filet worked straight into it. So Clayton Trotter has the football 40 out directly in front. Well, he may have lost a little, little bit of pace and he's not still playing the best footy he's ever played, but you never lose that ability to get a free kick like that. He's brilliant at it. He's the best I've ever seen, I reckon. So Clayton Trotter, 40 out directly in front. Eastern end, uh, western end of the ground. Has he got enough on it? It has. has. Puts it through. For his first of the afternoon. Back the middle, have they? Ball back <laughs> in the middle of the ground. And it's tapped down. Good clean pick up there from Chalice. And he goes straight down towards the forward line. Reese over the back. Cations is with him side by side. They work together. They really made a good song. They have to keep Picked up feet. there. And it's, oh, Josh Reese does well. Did keep his feet. Had a shot for goal. But unfortunately for him and East Geelong, it's through for a minor score. Do the commentary. Yeah. I'll do the comedy, all right? <laughs> kick out from <laughs> Ling. Goes towards Filet in the back pocket. So he's taken the mark. He'll uh, usually go long in this situation, but he doesn't. He goes short. Kick wasn't good. So Grozdanovsky, a good clean pick up there, we'll say in the end. Scooped it up and clicked into the forward line. Oh, siren, wing. Siren. siren is sounded here to end the first quarter, which will see East Geelong go in four goals, two, 20.